Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kaya for any of you that are new. In today's video, I'll be reviewing this braided wig here, y'all. I do want to say thank you to Altre for sending over today's wig. Yes, today's wig comes from Altre. They literally slayed with this okay but we're gonna jump into all of that of course in the review portion so before we jump into the video please make sure you subscribe to my channel hit the notification bell as well so you can be notified when i upload and then follow me on my socials they'll be here on my screen and in my description bar below as well now let's go ahead and jump into today's video <laughs>
All right, you guys, so here is the finished look here. I wanna give you guys a quick zoom in because I think that is very, very, very important in today's unit. So first, you know, let's go ahead and get this out of the way. I want y'all to see how great this looks, how well it blended. No, just give me you guys a little look see all right you guys so this is the alche 13x4 lace frontal wig in the style knotless square part braids i have it in the color two so this unit comes with hd transparent lace it has a 13x4 lace frontal and it is pre-braided with knotless box braids so you guys know the knotless braids are very popular and trendy right now. This also includes an elastic band as well as some baby hairs. You also have adjustable straps in the back as well. This unit is also offered in other colors besides two. You have the one regular black, burgundy, some shades with some blonde in it as well. The inside of the stock card just tells you a little bit more about the key features of this unit. The back of the stock card shows you the special colors that the unit comes in. So right now I have my hair pulled over to the left with a right parting space. You can also do a left parting space as well as middle. And based off the inside of the stock card, you can also do it pulled up. So I am going to show you guys that today. I'm going to grab my um, little scrunchie. And we're going to pull it up into a ponytail look. So as you guys can see, you can also be pulled up into a ponytail, giving yourself a half up, half down look. And then the way they have it inside of the stock car, you can also wear it in a bun. Personally, I like mine to fall like this, so I'm going to leave it like this because it looks really cute this way. So I think a lot of questions may be, can you wear this up into like a high ponytail? And the answer is no. It isn't made specifically to be worn up in a high ponytail. Um, now, if you maybe wear it with a headband or something like that, you could probably finesse it that way. But if you were to wear this up in a high ponytail, it is going to show how the wig is made in the back anyway won't look like very blended or melted like lace would so just keep that in mind if you do try to wear it up into a high ponytail baby hairs on this unit were definitely a great key feature of it I feel like it made it look a lot more realistic a lot more natural now of course you can bring down the tone of your baby hairs and they don't have to be as dramatic I decided to make mine just a little bit more on the dramatic side today and I really do love how it turned out and if you guys have been watching my channel for a while you know that I struggle I struggle with the baby hairs okay but I'm really pleased with how they came out today you guys let me know what you think about them in the comment section below the length of this unit is pretty darn long I am gonna zoom out some so you guys can see exactly how long it is and I'll also give you a 360 so you can see what the back of it looks like The hairline I believe is very realistic. The baby hairs were great to blend into the skin. It really did melt very well. And Altre has done a wonderful job with their realistic synthetic lace wigs. Like the lace literally melted and blended so well. The makeup that I added was not necessary to the front of it, but I kind of felt like I just wanted to because of habit. Now I did add some makeup as well to the parting spaces just to make that look a little bit more um, natural as well as just to lighten it up some so it would be visible. I would suggest probably not running your hands through it too much because I feel like it kind of might make it um, 
it starts to look a little bit jagged a little bit rough so you want to make sure if you do wear this unit more or even if you rub your hands on it a lot probably keep some mousse around rubbing mousse on it and sealing it probably with a little bit of oil will keep those little raggedy or jagged edge pieces from showing just like you would do if you got your head done with braids or knotless braids or crochet or whatever you would do the same thing for those just to keep the braids looking nice and healthy fitting wise i think the unit fit my head pretty well i did have to adjust quite a bit in the front with the lace before cutting it off um, I feel like over to the ear part portion, which is something that I always seem to struggle with, it didn't fit the contour of my ear that well. So I kind of had to finesse it a little bit with the major baby hair right here and just lay it down and glue it down. Here in the front, it feels great, but over here it felt like it was starting to be a little bit too small. So I don't know if I would necessarily put this in the big hip friendly range. Rating wise though, I really, really like this wig. So I'm gonna have to give it a good 9.5 out of 10. The only reason I took the 0.5 percentage off was just how I kind of struggled with the ear tabs over here, getting the lace to sit right. That was my biggest struggle. It was just a little bit snug there, but that's all that I really had an issue with with this wig, so. If you guys are interested in the unit, make sure you check out my description bar below. I'll have a direct link there for you to check it out. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you do like this wig and you plan on trying it, let me know in the comment section below. Thank you again to Altre for sending over today's wig. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, y'all.